Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create aggregate queries. So close any queries that you have open and let's go right away into create. So an aggregate query allows you to summarize the data into a more simplified view. So in query design, what we're interested in here is the total sales for all properties. So we're going to only add the properties table and we're going to pull in the sales price. We're going to use this totals row here um, and that will add that here and we're going to use a function to sum the sales of all of the properties. So when you save this, so right click and save, we're going to call this query uh, total sales, click OK and then run this, we get um, the total of all of the sales. Let's go back into design view and format that to currency and run again. Let's say we want the total sales by agent. We can do that by um, extrapolating on this aggregate. So say yes to save it and let's um, this should be query here, QRY, not report. Um, let's copy and paste the total sales query. So copy and paste, and we're going to call this query sales by agent. And now we're going to aggregate all of the sales for each agent. So into design view, just add in the selling agent ID. So we're going to group by selling agent, and we're actually going to make that the first um, field. So I double click to add it. If I want to drag it over, I'm looking again for that. Um, I'm just going to select it. So with that downward arrow, select the field and then drag it over. And usually it's a bit tricky. You can do it by dragging it on top of that gray line there. It looks like I've also scrolled over. So now my sales agent will be first grouped by the sum of the sale price. So let's run that. Now this isn't very useful because I don't know the names of my sales agents according to their ID numbers. So let's go back to design view and pull in the agents table. And we'll use the agent's first name here and remove the selling agent ID. These tables are linked by the selling agent ID, so the first name will be pulled in because of that relationship here. Run. And now we can see all of those selling agents and how much they sold in this database. So save that. Now we're going to create a little bit more of a complicated um, aggregate query that looks at um, the amount sold by each agent, but also the date listed and the date sold. So let's close this. We're going to copy it again. So copy and paste. We will call this query sales summary by last name. And in design view, we're going to have the last name here of our agent as the first field. So just drag that in. We're going to add in the date sold. And we'll also add in the listing agent. So run that. And we can see the data is not quite as aggregate here um, because of the dates that are sold are so unique. So it is sorting by last name. However, it is not aggregating the data quite as cleanly as our uh, sales by agent. Go ahead and save and close this query.